in a middle management position, what's the best way to support the company and leadership you work for while still showing your fellow workers they are supported and appreciated? I work in surgery at a large hospital with an even larger corporation. This is one of those things, and I remember saying, I'm sure I got this from Hackworth, but it's one of those things that I've said so many times I actually probably forget to even give credit to Hackworth, but you know, when problems, little problems would arise up the chain of command, and I'd be like, everyone hates the echelon of command above them, right? That's the way it is. Like, and, and that's just the way it is. That's the way it is. It's always they don't get it. It's always they don't understand. Unless you get somebody that really knows how to explain and communicate down the chain of command so that everyone understands why they're doing what they're doing. That's what this is. That's exactly what this is. Like, if, if, what's the best way to support the company and leadership? It's to take what the company and the leadership of the company says and translate it to the troops in a way that they understand and that means something to them, right? So you go to a big meeting and, you know, like let's say an all hands meeting for a company and, and the CEO is saying, hey, we made, you know, we made $87 million last year profit. And if all the frontline troops are in there, they're like, well, well that's cool. <laughs> but I didn't see what any of that, that, re- I didn't see yeah. that reflected in my paycheck. <laughs> By the way, you gave me a $4 raise over the last three years. How about some of that 87 million kick it down to the people? So that's problematic because we aren't explaining, hey, that's that literally that statement right there will actually make people mad. The, the, the CEO's thinking, Everyone's gonna love me because I'm telling them how profitable we are as a company all everyone's thinking is well Then why can't you afford to buy me that piece of gear that we need on the front lines? What's your problem? Th- that's so you actually think you're helping but you're actually hurting unless you can explain to people look we made this much profit Here's how it's gonna benefit us as a company and you as a frontline troop by us making this much money It means we can grow these areas. It means we can bring on more people That means everyone in this room right now in the next three years You're gonna have an opportunity to be in a leadership position that's what I'm talking about. That's why we're trying to grow. That's why we're trying to do better. By the way, as we this is snowballing even more because now we're putting more money into advertising. We've got a whole advertising campaign that's going out. We've invested a bunch of money in that, and it's going to bring us more business. And that means the jobs that you think might not be stable, your job, if you don't think it's stable, it just got stable because we have the capital to get this machine moving even faster. So when you do that, when you explain to the troops why something's happening, it makes them understand, and it shows your people, hey, you're supporting. Are there times where you should push back? Yes, there are. And if something makes no sense whatsoever, you should raise your hand and say, hey, let, let me go, let me run this up the chain of command. Let me run this up the chain of command and explain why this isn't a good idea. And that way you can go, and when you get the reason, because there'll be a reason, and it might not be the best reason, but it'll be a reason, and you go back to the troops and say, hey, here's why this is going on. This is what's happening. This is the decision they made. And you know what? We're going to do our best to execute it because that's what we do. We make things happen. We're going to get it done. Boom. And we got a great. We've got a great uh, depiction of that in in the, the talking about being humble, not passive, and pushing back where it matters uh, in the dichotomy of leadership. Uh, that's uh, that whole section is talking exactly about that. It's a very hard thing you know, for people. And that, the the basis of this question though is the us versus them, right? Front lines versus corporate headquarters, uh, and and. You've got to defeat that if you're a good leader. You got to recognize look we're all on the same team uh, We can't do what we need to do without having the support and uh, you know the resources and the approvals of plans uh, From the uh, corporate headquarters, you know and in corporate headquarters that oftentimes So not only are is there frustration up the chain? There's also frustration down the chain you hear that all the time like well the front lines They don't really get it. They don't get it over there Well, listen front the front lines is, is where the actual mission gets won or lost yeah. So uh, you, you've got to you might want to have them on board with the program. Exactly. So you got to make sure that, you know, that it's got to if you want a successful team, you, you can't have us versus them. Everybody get on board for the big win. Get on board for the big win. <laughs> yeah. Well, the full metal jacket. Right. What's your problem, son? Why don't you get on board for the big win? And, and you think, oh, well, if I'm the general and I'm telling this young guy that's got a peace sign on his helmet. That represents the dichotomy. Maybe that's where I learned the word dichotomy from. That represents the dichotomy of, what does he say, the dichotomy of man. I think he says the duality of man. The duality of man. Yeah, you're right. That represents Mm. the duality of man. Why don't you 
take that thing off and get on board for the big win. And that's such a great line from that movie. Join the team, son. Get yeah, on board for the big win. That's such a great line from that movie because that's exactly what we're talking about. That does absolutely nothing for that frontline soldier. That goes, oh, okay, you're saying that, and I'm literally burying people right now in this situation. And so for you saying that to me means nothing. In fact, it shows how completely freaking out of touch you are. And so they did a great job in that movie of representing that through one single line. Hey, why don't you just get on board for the big win? It's like, well, no, actually, why don't you lead? How does that sound? So communicate up and down the chain of command. Make sure people know why and tie in why it matters to them.